progress in military technology has given more and more sophistication to weapon systems, giving them more lethality and precision. Armament Research and Development Establishment under Defence Research and Development Organisation was founded in 1958 with an objective to develop and productionize conventional armaments to counter the threats to India's sovereignty and peace. ARDE has since been delivering state-of-the-art weapons and ammunition to the Indian Armed Forces, Army, Navy and Air Force. ARDE is instituted at a sprawling 1,000 acres campus at Pashan with a full range for test and evaluation of armament stores and facilities for manufacture, pilot plant production and integration. Its present charter covers the entire range of R&D activities in armaments research, design, development, testing and evaluation, production, quality assurance and transfer of technology to ordnance factories, PSUs and private agencies. The high caliber engineering and scientific workforce is engaged in these activities which encompass the whole gamut of applied sciences. ARDE, an ISO 9001 certified lab, undertakes research projects with higher academic and R&D institutions for collaborating in new technology areas for system development and problem solving. ARDE plays a key role in equipping Indian Armed Forces with state-of-the-art weapon systems and ammunition for self-defense and war preparedness. Over the years, ARDE has gained invaluable competence in design and development of gun systems, small arms, multi-barrel rocket systems and various types of ammunition including precision guided munitions. These systems and products are to undergo most rigorous field trials at extreme temperatures in difficult terrains followed by user trials before they are inducted into service. Here are some glimpses of the products developed by ARD. In the field of small arms, the most notable contribution is the 5.56 mm INSAS, the Indian small arms system, which includes assault rifle and light machine gun in fixed and foldable butt versions. These weapons and their ammunition of various kinds is produced by ordnance factories in large numbers. Lethal CQB ammunition has also been designed and developed successfully for close quarter combat. The 40mm UBGL as an add-on attachment to the INSAS 1B or AK-47 rifle was developed in record time. It has an effective range of 50 to 350 meters and is mass manufactured at Ordnance Factory Fritchie. 40 mm low velocity air bursting grenade has been developed successfully which enhances the firepower and functions in two modes namely impact and air burst 5.56 mm joint venture protective carbine is a compact and lightweight weapon for close quarter battle with low recoil ensuring stability during rapid firing Single-handed firing and ambidextrous features are specialities which make it more suitable for close combat, especially for paramilitary forces. Corner Shot Weapon System is a special purpose weapon platform for UBGL and 9mm pistol which can fire around the corner without exposing the shooter. It plays an important role in anti-terrorism and anti-insurgency operations. The modular multi-caliber rifle has been developed in 5.56, 6.8 and 7.62 mm calibers which can have a range from 100 meters to 700 meters. 
84 mm lightweight launcher uses carbon composite barrel and is highly effective in mountain warfare. Fifty one millimeters lightweight mortar and fifty one eighty one one zero five and one twenty millimeter high explosive smoke and illuminating mortar ammunition have been introduced into the army. ARDE has gained expertise in artillery and tank gun systems and ammunition. A lightweight Modular 75 by 24 pack howitzer is mule and helicopter transportable for mountain warfare. A whole range of HE, smoke and illuminating ammunition was also developed. First 105mm Indian field gun was developed by ARDE gun development team Jabalpur and manufactured by Ordnance Factories. T-55 main battle tank was upgunned wherein the 100mm gun was upgraded to 105mm thereby enhancing its fire power. ARDE pioneered the design and development of specialized kinetic energy FSAPDS ammunition for tank guns which can immobilize MBTs. FSAPDS 105mm for Vijayantha and 125mm Mark I and Mark II for MBT T-72 tank gun were developed. The most ambitious 120mm armament system and ammunition project for MBT Arjun was successfully completed along with ordnance factories. A family of ammunition, namely HESH and FSAPDS were developed as lethal ammunition against MBTs. For infantry combat vehicle Abhay, the three armament systems were integrated and housed on the ICV. The L40 by 70 gun can rotate along with the turret in 360 degrees. Artillery gun systems must have greater mobility, operational capability in all weather conditions, longer ranges and improved firepower with high accuracy and minimum collateral damage. Advanced Towed Artillery Gun System ATAGS is a modern totally automated 155mm into 52 caliber gun system developed in partnership with ordnance factories and private companies namely Bharat Forge Limited and Tata Power SED and will be the first of its kind to be manufactured in India. Structural stability ordnance performance and automatic functioning have been proven through dynamic trials. After user evaluation, it will be inducted into the army and will immensely improve the firepower of Indian artillery. Anti-tank influence munition Adrishya Mark II incorporates a magnetic gum seismic sensor and can discriminate between a battle tank and a trawl or other vehicle and destroys the tank. Under the new family of munitions program, ARDE is developing six new generation munitions for the Indian Army. Capable of being laid both manually and mechanically, they have improved safety and lethality features. Nipur, Vibhav, Vishal and Parth have undergone PSQR-based user trials successfully and are under TOT stage. The earliest rockets developed by ARDE were 68mm Arrow rockets which are in production at ordnance factories and are used by Air Force and Navy. As an initial effort, 122mm rockets with a range of 20 km were reverse engineered for Russian multi-barrel rocket launchers as area denial weapons. The range of these rockets has been extended up to 40 kilometers as per the requirement of the Army. Multi-barrel rocket launcher system 
MBRLS Pinaka is the most successful flagship project of ARDE. This rocket system can fire 12 rockets in a salvo to a maximum range of 38 kilometers within 44 seconds. It can thus fire 72 rockets from 6 launchers of the Pinaka battery, giving a massive devastating target effect on an area of 800,000 square meters. Different warheads have been successfully developed for Pinaka for lethal target effects. MBRLS Pinaka has been integrated with Army Artillery Combat Command and Control System, ACCCS network. Two regiments of Indian Army have already been equipped and orders for four more regiments are in process. A regular trial evaluation is in place for proving the rockets under TOT program. Pinaka rockets with extended range of 60 kilometers have also been successfully developed using technologies like flow forming for rocket tubes and case bonded phenocyl propellant with higher specific impulse. To improve accuracy of the rocket, a project on trajectory correction system TCS was completed through collaboration with IMI Israel. ARDE has established itself as a center for excellence for design and development of warheads. Warheads cause desired damage to the target and render it incapable of performing its intended function. ARDE embarked on designing of warheads with the launch of India's prestigious missile development program, IGMDP. Several varieties of warheads intended to destroy different types of targets have been developed for Prithvi, Akash, Trishul and Nag missile. The earliest types of warheads developed were fragmentation warheads which on detonation led to lethal fragments and can be employed against soft skin targets. Blast charges lead to high pressure waves creating energy responsible for the kill of the target. ARDE has also developed penetration cum blast warheads which breach concrete structures and then burst. Shape charge warheads make use of a hypervelocity jet formed due to collapse of the metallic liner of the charge on detonation. The jet is made of high density material and penetrates the target with the resultant large kinetic energy. Another significant contribution is the development of submunition warheads in which submunitions are dispensed over the target area at a certain point in flight. DPICM bomblet, incendiary, prefragmentation and PCB submunitions have been developed for warheads for Prithvi missile, Pinaka rocket and artillery rounds. An innovative technique of warhead test vehicle has been established for test and evaluation. The warhead is carried by a helicopter to a higher altitude and released, stabilized by a parachute and boosted by a rocket motor. Thermobaric warheads containing fuel-rich explosive, which on detonation produces blast over pressure and excessive heat energy, have been developed for use against soft targets and concrete protected targets. ARDE continues to produce innovative warhead designs to overcome challenges such as mass and space constraints while ensuring optimum performance. Directional warheads are being developed which alter the detonation wave such that more explosive energy is directed towards the target causing minimum wastage of energy. Cutting-edge technologies for converting conventional warheads into advanced warheads are being developed, such as high-performance shaped charges with low length to diameter ratio. Concrete penetrating warheads based on follow-through technology. Kinetic energy rod warhead against tactical ballistic missiles.
A range of fuses and safety arming devices ensure safety in handling and assembly of ammunition, thus avoiding inadvertent initiation and accidents. Presently, ARDE is working on proximity fuses and electronic time fuses for rockets and impact and impact delay fuses for artillery ammunition. ARDE is working on an ambitious project for the development of railgun with electromagnetic propulsion technology. The goal is to set up a 10 megajoules pulse power system powered by capacitor bank. After successfully test firing a 4 megajoule capacitor bank integrated with the railgun system, the bank is being upgraded to 10 megajoules. ARDE has significantly contributed to the Indian Navy by providing various mines, anti-submarine rockets and signalling devices. The range of rockets to be fired from RBU-6000 launcher has been enhanced to 8 km by employing new propulsion system. These will be produced in large numbers for the Navy to improve the firepower. For the Air Force, ARDE has developed several classes of high-speed, low-drag bombs with ballistic tail units for high-altitude release and retarded tail units with parachutes for low-level release, ensuring aircraft safety. These HE bombs have devastating blast effects for destroying built-up structures, runways and railway marshalling yards. Pre-fragmented bombs which undergo controlled fragmentation on initiation leading to greater effectiveness have been developed. The guidance, navigation and control technologies implemented in Precision Guided Munitions PGMs, give a punch to the armed forces by enhancing accuracy while reducing collateral damage and wastage of ammunition. Cannon Launched Missile Development Program CLMDP, was the first ambitious project in development of PGMs in which a 120mm tube-launched or gun-launched missile has been successfully developed. It employs a semi-active laser seeker for terminal guidance. It can destroy ERA-protected MBTs, hardened point targets and low-flying helicopters. The guided Pinaka project has been taken up with sister labs RCI, DRDL and DMRL and the system has been demonstrated with a range of 75 kilometers to the users. First time right. Precision guidance kit is being developed for converting the conventional 450 kilograms HSLD bomb into a precision guidance weapon. The PGM projects under progress are expected to lead ARDE on the future pathway of high technology force multiplier weapons for the Indian Armed Forces. Ballistics Division gives the requisite support to the design groups for finalizing the design parameters during development stage of armament stores covering system analysis internal ballistics computations, proof of propellants, aerodynamic configuration, design and stability analysis, fire control algorithms, aircraft store separation, trajectory simulation, estimation of parachute design parameters, target effectiveness studies, compilation of firing tables, Air Pilot Plant has developed 70 types of power cartridges for use in fighter aircraft, leading to a huge saving of foreign exchange. Power cartridges play a vital role in operating the life-saving devices, namely canopy severance system and seat ejection system in combat aircraft for protecting pilots in adverse situations.
Production of cartridges has been established at ordnance factories while regular production continues at ARDE. DRDO Center for PSO Ceramics and Devices has developed several grades of PZT materials. The pilot plant has productionized a large number of PZT components in assorted shapes and sizes for defense and civil applications. PZT for impact initiation of hollow charge warheads, sonar and underwater decoy systems and low frequency transducer arrays have been developed. The Young Scientist Center for Functional Materials and Engineering formed under ACE cluster at PZT Center is pursuing futuristic technologies such as pulse power materials, smart sensors, high frequency sensor materials, green bullets and non-lethal weapons. Prototype manufacturing unit converts the concepts of designers to concrete configurations by manufacturing armament components, assemblies and sub-assemblies using innovative manufacturing techniques and modern facilities. PNU has a wide range of metrology equipment, state-of-the-art secondary processing facilities such as heat treatment, surface protection, material handling equipments have also been established. Metallurgy and Material Science Group carries out destructive and non-destructive testing of raw materials, explosive and non-explosive filled armament stores. Material investigations of imported stores and failure investigations of components are also carried out. Spread over 150 acres of land, Pashan Ranges is one of the unique test facilities in India for conducting static and dynamic firing trials of armament stores with necessary instrumentation. To evaluate external ballistic performance, various measurements like acceleration, strain gauging, dynamic pressure, displacement, muzzle velocity and IPG are carried out. Sand Butt Tunnel 22 meter high paratrop tower 100 meter velocity tunnel Standard drop test apparatus 800 meters open firing range Universal fuse testing facility High-speed photography with a speed of 25,000 frames per second at max resolution is available to study ballistic parameters of armaments. Climatic test chambers for life assessment of ammunition, bump, shock and vibration testing form core facilities. ARDE is an ISO 9001-2015 certified institution and the ISO cell looks after the implementation of ISO 9001 requirements including conduct of internal and surveillance audits, quality management review committee meetings and implementation of decisions thereof for continual improvement of the organization. Safety Engineering Division ensures that safety guidelines are followed during static and dynamic trials, environmental testing and assembly, breakdown, storage and transportation of ammunition. On board or flight telemetry is vital for validation of design parameters and performance evaluation of armament stores during trials. Telemetry modules have been designed, developed and successfully used in more than 200 dynamic flight trials for Pinaka rockets, CLGM and aircraft bombs. Material Management Division systematically handles procurement of materials and processing of fabrication or development contracts, implementing purchase procedures meticulously for timely procurement. Technology Management Group functions as the nodal point for coordinating all project-related activities of ARDE and liaises with DRDO Headquarters and DG ACE. 
A network-based project management software has been instituted for ensuring effective project management and documentation. ARDE's campus-wide network, Drona's services and the internet facilities are managed by Computing and Networking Solutions Group. Several in-house administrative software have been developed and virtualization and high-performance computing implemented for functioning. Human Resource Development Division is responsible for training and development of ARDE personnel, thereby ensuring their competence for success of projects. It also emphasizes on proper deployment of human resources according to their capabilities. Information Center for Armament Technology is the fully automated IT-enabled new library with latest print and digital resources on armament technologies. Latest information is provided to scientists through a wide range of services. The spacious and well-furnished reading halls, technical discussion rooms and study carrels are an asset to the scientific community. Administration and planning divisions provide the essential services and support for the well-being of organization and its personnel. Various infrastructural developments have been completed for improvement in R&D efforts and project execution and management. Focused efforts of these motivated and highly qualified armament scientists will undoubtedly strengthen the armed forces with the most modern weapon systems. With the initiative of Make in India, the manufacture of these advanced weapon systems is being taken up by us in partnership with the major private companies in addition to the ordnance factories and public sector undertakings. This will definitely take India ahead on the path of self-reliance in defense technologies and products. ARDE, the very personification of nationalism, striving to take India on the path of self-reliance in weapon technologies to secure its rightful place as a sovereign, democratic nation.